Hi, I'm Emily from Fearless DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to refinish a camper tub and sink with this Rust-Oleum tub and tile aerosol. Okay, first step is to clean the whole area with an abrasive cleaner like Comet. Now I'm following the directions to the T on this um, because I want this to adhere as well as possible. Um, so I'm going to start with the abrasive uh, cleaner and the pad and get it scrubbed down from top to bottom. So I've scrubbed it down with Comet and got all of the basically dirt and grime and grease off of it. Um, and now I'm going to wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol, it's a non-oily solvent. Um, and then I'm going to spray with Lime Away and leave it on for 5 minutes. And apparently that helps it have a more porous surface which will help with adhesion. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, once you've got everything scrubbed down and cleaned, you have to let it dry. And the instructions say 90 minutes. So I'm going to take them at their word. I have actually wiped it down dry um, and I have done with the lime away for five minutes and I'm letting it dry for an hour and a half. So we're going to go have dinner and then we'll come back and actually do the painting and see how it goes. When you're using a spray can for a long period of time, make sure that you are stopping frequently to shake the can up, just to make sure that all of the material inside is distributed evenly. Here is the third and final coat on the sink. Now, normally I would never condone uh, spraying this epoxy product on your faucet and handles but a these were plastic and b the camper owner did not want to replace them the most important part of this process is the ventilation you must have adequate ventilation because this stuff is toxic i am wearing a ventilator mask with the appropriate filters and I leave it on until I've actually exited the camper and I have the windows open and the fans going um, to make sure that I don't breathe any of this in. So if you get a little sag in the paint because you have a little excess paint on the wall, make sure to dab that extra part away and then go back over it in just a couple minutes with another coat of paint. I have used both the spray can and the roll-on kind of this Rust-Oleum tub and tile product in the past. I wanted to try the spray this time to see if I could get a smoother finish with no sags at all. But what I found is that I could still apply the paint too heavily in some areas and still have a little bit of a run or sag in my paint that I had to fix. And as far as ease for a small project like the sink, the cans would work really, really well. Um, but it is not uh, cost wise, it's not a good choice to use the spray can on a larger project like a tub. I would definitely choose um, the two part kit where you mix the two yourself and then roll it on. You get a lot better coverage um, and it just ends up costing a, quite a bit less.
here she is after three coats of paint. Brand new tub and surround. Here's the finished product, a completely new looking shower. And all it required is the ability to use a spray can.